What's up everyone? Welcome back to Anywhere But Here. Today we're going to talk about 10 reasons why you don't want to move to Texas. With so many people talking about relocating to Texas, I thought it'd be a good idea to do some Googling and find out what the fuss is all about. Instead, what I found was list after list after list of reasons why not to move to Texas. So I thought I'd compile those lists and put together a list of my own so that you'd have all the information in one easy location. With that said, here is our list of the 10 reasons not to move to Texas. Number 10, everything's bigger in Texas, even the exaggerations. Texans love to tell you how much bigger things are in Texas. The best barbecue, the best music, the best high school football, the best stadiums, and the best Mexican food. They think the Mexican food is so good in Texas, they renamed it Tex-Mex. Number nine, no state income tax. Now that doesn't sound like a negative, but the state has to get money from somewhere, right? And that somewhere is from higher property and sales taxes. Texas has some of the highest property taxes in the entire United States, and with property values increasing, the tax burden on owning a home in Texas is making it more and more difficult for people to buy houses. The average property tax in the state of Texas is 1.83%. Compare that to 0.77% in California. That makes property tax in Texas almost 150% higher than in a state like California. Number eight, weather. It gets hot in Texas. In most of Texas, it is said there are two seasons, summer and January. On the bright side, you can choose what kind of heat you get. West Texas has a dry heat, while Eastern Texas adds miserable humidity, if that's your thing. And don't forget, in Northern Texas, you get tornadoes, and in Southern Texas, hurricanes. Number seven, country music. The city of Austin is often described as the music capital of the world, and the music scene there is diverse. But for the most part, Texas is all about country music, and it's everywhere. Country music is a way of life in Texas. You'll either need to learn to love it, or carry a pair of those fancy noise-canceling headphones with you. Everywhere. Number six, the culture of masculinity. There are two forces at work in Texas that perpetuate an outdated patriarchy. Number one, Texas's strong religious history that emphasizes traditional gender roles. Women as housewives and men as the breadwinner and protector. And number two, Texas's cowboy culture. There's a whole lot of John Waynes in Texas. Some still ride horses, but a lot now drive big trucks. Number five, Texas is big. With so much land, things tend to be spread out and towns can be pretty far apart. Living in one town and working in another can make for pretty long commutes. Driving to other cities to visit friends or relatives can mean several hour drives through some very flat and boring landscapes. And visiting friends or relatives in other states, as long as you have a day to drive there and a day to drive back, go for it. Number four very little public land. For as big as Texas is, there's very little public land. There are historical reasons for this dating back to pre-statehood. As an independent republic, Texas sold off large pieces of land as a source of revenue, and upon becoming a state, Texas ceded no land to the federal government. As a result, about 5% of Texas's land is public meaning fewer national parks, and it also means most of the land is maintained by private parties in any manner they see fit. Number three, lack of public transportation. The large cities in Texas have typical public transportation like buses and some light rail. But for the most part, you'll need a car to get around. Especially if you want to travel from city to city, Texas is big and public transportation between cities just doesn't make financial sense. In some cities, public transportation is just not a priority. People in Arlington were given a choice between putting public money towards transportation or a new stadium for the Dallas Cowboys. And well, 
Have you seen AT&T Stadium? Number two, critters. Snakes, scorpions, giant cockroaches, giant mosquitoes, fire ants, centipedes, tarantulas. Texas is well known for its high number of creatures that will bite, sting, or otherwise scare the crap out of you when they cross your path. And like they say, things are bigger in Texas, especially the bugs. And the number one reason you don't want to move to Texas? Texas doesn't want you. One thing I consistently read as I researched this list is that the people of Texas are tired of outsiders coming in, especially if you're from California. As more companies leave the tax and regulation nightmare that California has become and head to Texas, Texans are growing more and more resentful of outsiders moving in. Many Texans blame the rise in housing costs, increasing traffic, and growing liberalism on people from the outside. So if you do decide to move to Texas, just be prepared for the dirty looks, some unfriendly attitudes, and of course, an occasional middle finger. With all of that being said, Texas really is a great place to live, and most of the things on this list won't affect everybody. Just some things to consider. Thanks again for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Have fun!